what's up guys it's flex again today's video is going to be about my steering wheel so as you guys are aware my interior is beige and dark brown with wood grain i wasn't a big fan of the brown and the wood grain so i went ahead and carbon fiber wrapped the wood grain and i started changing some bits and pieces to black like my shifter the next step is to change my steering wheel from a brown steering wheel to a black steering wheel so in this video, I'll walk you through the step-by-step -step process of removing your steering wheel and installing the brand new steering wheel, whether you are changing your steering wheel or upgrading it to a better steering wheel. So, enjoy. So what you're gonna need for this project is a socket wrench to remove the battery, a 10 millimeter Allen wrench to remove the steering wheel bolt, a long screwdriver, and a pipe of some sorts with a hollow end. And I also forgot to mention that you will need some Loctite uh, for the steering wheel bolt. So the first thing you want to do is park your car in a straight line so your steering wheel is straight. Next step is to disconnect your battery and wait for 20 minutes so there's no current running through your system. Next step is to remove the airbag by looking for two dimples on the lower left and right back side of the steering wheel. Insert your screwdriver and you will look for a lever inside where you will push and your airbag will release and pop right off from the steering wheel. Once the airbag is removed, you want to unclip the yellow connector from the steering wheel. Take your Allen wrench and insert it into the steering wheel bolt and grab your pipe that on the end of the Allen wrench and use brute force to break that bolt loose. Remember, lefty loosey. Next step is to remove this brown connector by pinching the top and bottom and pulling it out. Now you can pull up on the steering wheel and it should easily come right off. Before you install your new steering wheel, it's recommended that you remove your contact plate from your existing steering wheel and install it on your new steering wheel. This way all your button controls will work properly. The contact plate is highlighted in red as you can see here on the video. You will need to remove a brown wire using a Phillips head screwdriver and then you need to remove three screws that require a torque screwdriver. Uh, once the contact plate is removed just install it on your new steering wheel and it should be good to go. Now you can safely install your new steering wheel. Uh, the process of the installation is just reverse from how it was removed. Insert the brown connector back in. Apply some Loctite on the actual steering wheel screw. and go ahead and screw it back into place. Remember, righty tighty. Now 
Now that the screw is nice and tight, you can connect your airbag back to the steering wheel. Align the airbag and push it into place. It should snap right in. Now just reconnect your battery. And your airbag and your button controls on your steering wheel should be fully functional and ready to go. Well, there you have it, a brand new steering wheel. If you liked the video, I'd appreciate it if you hit like. And for more videos, please subscribe. I'll see you next time. Yeah.